every day, teachers commend students on their hard work, but today was their day to be commended. Stanford Public Schools presented the 10th Annual Spotlight on Teachers and Teacher of the Year to honor the outstanding men and women who work with the city's children every day. Greetings were delivered by Superintendent of Schools, Dr. Joshua P. Starr. Then the spotlight shifted to the teachers, with recipients ranging from elementary school teachers to social workers. Each recognized with a brief description as they made their way to the stage to receive their awards. I spoke briefly with Mary Humincy, who shared what this award meant to her as a social worker. It's just a very exciting, it's a humbling experience. Uh, first of all, just even to be nominated and recognized and just being here with uh, fellow teachers and um, uh, social workers who are all, you know, just doing a really great job. It just it feels wonderful to be part of it and to be uh, working for the Stanford school system. Next, members of the Teacher of the Year Committee talked about the selection process and how hard it was to narrow down all of the candidates and choose one person. They shared the inside scoop on what makes someone Teacher of the Year material. Be open-minded, try new things, be open to new curricula, but always be sure to put your stamp on it, what, what makes you special, and not to forget that even as things become more standardized, that you can keep something for yourself. You can make it special because you are special. You bring something unique to whatever it is that you're doing. I agree with that. I would say be yourself. Make sure that mm -hmm. there's always, you know, as we were looking at, you know, the videos and as we were looking through the packets that we got, we're like, okay, that's brief, that's brief, that's brief. That sounds, you know, that's good. But we were looking for the, the people that go above and beyond and do put their personal stamp on things and do find some way to interact personally with the kids and maybe bring something again, like from outside in. So if you notice, a lot of the spotlight teachers were doing things outside of the school community, but with their students. After accepting his award and making a brief statement, Teacher of the Year, Charles Langworth, shared a bit about his long journey that got him to the point where he is now and offered a few words of motivation to others. Try to find something you're happy with and you know I, I have a much greater appreciation for what I do because um, I really love going to work every day. 